Welcome back. This is a live look from our mousetrap can. We are seeing below zero temperatures right now. You can expect icy roads and a slow commute to work. It is another first alert weather day. This morning, the FBI continues investigating false active shooter reports at several schools across Colorado. And we are getting an update from Colorado Springs. Officials revealing more about a connection between suspects in a shooting that injured five people. From Colorado's News Channel, this is CBS 4 This Morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, February 23rd. I'm Michelle Griego. Thanks so much for waking up with us this morning. We continue with a first alert weather day this morning. This is the live look outside from our tech cam. We are waking up with extreme cold. The good news, though, snow has stopped, so that's nice. We know the challenges snow and a flash freeze caused on the roadways yesterday. Take a look at this. You may have even been stuck behind this pile. This is uh, on I-25 near the tech center. There was another bad crash on Wadsworth. Both took a couple hours to clean up, but quite the mess on the roadways. Last night, the same conditions still causing issues for drivers on I-70. This was the scene near Georgetown. The I-70 frontage road closed for a few hours to protect access for emergency vehicles. And uh, Ashton, it's another first alert weather day today, but it's mostly because of the cold temperatures. Right. And just for this morning, we'll keep the first alert weather uh, day declaration going through mid morning. Then we'll take it down. That said, I'm not sure we're completely completely done with the snow. We may still get at least a few flurries, maybe even another light snow shower or two, even in Denver coming up late afternoon into this evening. Look at these temperatures. These are the air temperatures. Uh, minus 12 in Windsor, minus 9 in Boulder, minus 10 in Aurora. Luckily, there's not much wind, but it doesn't take much wind when temperatures are this brutally cold for the wind chills to drop into the truly dangerous category. Minus 20s, even minus 30s in some areas on the wind chill. None north of Greeley, minus 32. That kind of a wind chill can cause uh, frostbite to develop in less than 10 minutes. And so that's why we're saying if you're going to be outside for more than just a couple of minutes this morning, make sure you're covering up as much of your body as possible, especially your head, your face, and your hands. Uh, so single digits through about mid-morning and then noon 14. And then there's that chance for a few more at least flurries later today. We'll talk more about that coming up. Right now, let's get over to McKenzie, checking out the slick and slow travel this morning. Yeah, and those roads are very, very icy this morning following yesterday's uh, storm and overnight snow. Here's a look at the Mile High camera, I-25 through downtown Denver. You can see traffic uh, barely moving uh, very slowly. Not a lot of people out on the roadways just yet, but there are still some icy and snowy conditions on all of our major interstates at this point this morning. Here's a look at that wide metro map. We do have one crash out on I-70. This is in the westbound lanes near Mount Vernon, so that is causing some delays. Also, a uh, important to point out traction laws are in effect if you're heading up to the high country or any of the ski resorts this morning. Here in the metro area, we're not seeing a lot of people out on the roadways just yet, so uh, the speeds aren't looking too bad, but they are a bit slower than usual. So we'll take a quick look at those drive times in from the north. I-25 Thornton to Denver, the average speed right now is 57 miles per hour. 270 through Commerce City is wide open and clear, and then westbound I-76, you have a seven-minute drive from US-85 to I-25. But again, not a lot of people out on the roadways just yet, so these will certainly start to slow down as there's more people people because these roads are very, very icy out there this morning. All right, Mackenzie, thank you. The airport is waking up to a much better day. Here's a look at the flight aware map this morning. Right now, DIA has 52 flights canceled and just a few delays. Yesterday, a much different story. It was a nightmare for many travelers. Nearly 800 flights were either canceled or delayed. About 540 flights were delayed and 250 canceled. Southwest and United had the most issues. Southwest canceled about 150 flights and United United delayed about 220 flights. Right now on CBS4 this morning, it is a first alert weather day. The snow is gone, but the cold is here to stay when we can expect a warm up. More than a dozen schools placed on lockdown after unfounded threats. Students, parents, and teachers all on edge. This is every reporter's absolutely worst nightmare. And this morning, a community left shattered after multiple people, including a child and a reporter, shot in Florida. What we know about the suspected gunman. From Colorado's News Channel, this is CBS 4 This Morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, February 23rd. I'm Michelle Griego. Thanks so much for waking up with us this morning. We are taking a live look outside right now, taking a look at the city. The snow might be over, but look at that temperature and the bottom right hand of your uh, screen there. 
Negative one. It's cold and it's going to stay cold today. And that's why we have another first alert weather day in place. So let's get over to Ashton in the weather center. Please tell us we have a warm up coming soon. We do just in time for the weekend. In fact, Michelle, we'll take a look at that in your first alert. Super seven day forecast coming up. The reason for the alert this morning is because we have the dangerous wind chills this morning down into the minus 20s, even minus 30s when you factor in the light breeze that we have because our actual air temperatures are in the single digits and teens below zero. Minus 11 in Aurora. It's minus 8 in Boulder, minus 13 in Fort Collins. The airport right now is at minus 10. We were at minus 11 earlier. Either way, it's a record. Uh, the old record for this date was minus 7, so we've shattered the record. Most records are only broken by a degree or two, so it's a testament to just how cold it is, even for the second half of February. This is unusually cold. Wind chill values right now, minus 26 at the airport, feels like minus 29 to exposed skin in Windsor. As we've been saying this morning, wind chill can, or excuse me, frostbite can happen in 10 minutes or less with this, this kind of cold. So make sure you're covering up. It's a hat day for the hat, the gloves, the scarf, especially if you're going to be outside for more than just a couple of minutes. Later today, temperatures in the teens, better than yesterday, but still pretty darn cold. I think we'll all agree. Let's get over to the First Alert Traffic Center with McKinsey. Slick roads, another problem this morning. Oh, yeah. Ice is a big problem for drivers this morning. Things are very slick on all of our major interstates. This is a look here at our mile high camera, I-25 through downtown Denver. You can still see some of the snow and ice on the roadway here, so things moving a lot slower than usual due to these conditions, really on all of our major interstates. Here's a look at that wide metro map. One of the areas we're seeing some of those slower speeds is at Hamden, 285 up through Conifer, a very icy and slick in that area. And then just, again, some slower speeds as more people head out the door. Uh, and very icy spots all across the metro area. Here's a quick look at those drive times in from the north. I-25, Thornton to Denver, 12-minute drive from 120th to I-70. 270 through Commerce City also starting to slow up in those eastbound lanes. And then westbound I-76, you have an 8-minute drive from US-85 to I-25. All right, Mackenzie, thank you. And right now, this bitter cold is forcing a majority of school districts to delay opening their doors by two hours. This includes Denver and Jefferson County Public Schools. And you can always find the full list of delays at cbscolorado.com. I'm Justin Adams in the newsroom, and this morning students at more than a dozen schools statewide will return to classes after a series of fake threats forced them to go on lockdown or evacuate. I'll tell you how the FBI is responding to these fake calls next. All right, Ashton, thanks. Leaders and advocates continue working to find solutions for Colorado's homelessness crisis. On CBS Colorado Mornings at 9, we are taking an in-depth look at a group using incentives to try and tackle the issue. And as Ashton said, it is dangerously cold out there, so if you're heading out the door right now, bundle up. Absolutely, bundle stay up. Stay warm. Kids. A lot are going to school late, but it's still going to be cold. Welcome, welcome to CBS Mornings on this Thursday. I'm Gail King. I'm Tony DeCope. And Dominic Burleson. We're all here, so let's go to today's eye-opener. It's your world in 90 seconds.